return to normal. This event, uh, just a classic Portland event that's a lot of fun downtown, and hopefully people get to enjoy it. What's that weather going to be like, though? Probably going to be a little cold for those runners. It is going to be chilly out there, maybe a little wet, too, as we have some showers kind of passing on through. So if you're going out to that, just be prepared for it. There's a good chance that we'll have some passing showers out there. And temperatures are probably going to be in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so you'll definitely feel that kind of chill in the air, but I know some folks like to run in that. Okay, snow report. This is up on the mountain. This is Mount Hood Meadows. We've seen about a foot of snow, a little bit less than that over the last 24 hours. 10 inches coming out of Mount Hood Meadows as well as Timberline. This is a great time of the year to bring in as much snow as we could possibly, you know, attain. And uh, we'll use it as we go into the summer, but we, you know, also we'll have some issues with travel. And so if you're thinking about getting up there, we do have a couple winter weather alerts that you have to be prepared for. Through the coast range, the Cascades here, we have winter weather advisories in place tonight, extending into Monday. We also have some winter storm warnings in this pink shading right here, but those don't go into place until tomorrow. So for now, the winter weather advisories, 6 to 10 inches of snowfall, somewhere right around there. A little bit more for the higher elevations. Again, snow levels may drop to about 1,000 feet or so. I'll show you the snow total forecast around the Portland metro area as it tries to kind of creep down into the valley floor as we head through our Sunday. Notice by late Sunday night, we're not noticing anything down to the valley floor, but weather models are trying to push it to the valley floor by the time we head into Monday. For now, I'm going to leave the snow levels about 1,000 feet. If you get some heavy rain, it's definitely possible that we see some snowfall below that mark, but you can definitely anticipate plenty of snowfall above that. And then it'll depend on the temperature there and the rainfall as we get below that mark to see anything uh, in the form of some snowflakes below 1,000 feet. For now, we'll just keep it rain for the valley floor. Expect the roads to be wet and for it to be pretty chilly out there, especially in the morning hours. Snow levels are up and down. Monday really brings in the storm track that would bring in bountiful snowfall for the valley floor in the winter. But since we're going to see kind of some warmer air aloft on Monday, that may prevent us from seeing much down to the valley floor. We do not get that much snowfall in April in Portland and for downtown. Now, these stats are from the National Weather Service here. The last time we had snowfall above a trace in uh, the latest time, I should just say, is March 25th. We have seen a trace in April uh, a couple times. You can see downtown there, uh, April 12th, uh, but that goes way back. So. I wouldn't anticipate any snowfall down to the valley floor, but there's going to be some locations where it's definitely close. Surge of moisture late tonight, kind of broken early tomorrow morning. So again, for the race, probably some passing showers. It will not be a steady rain, but it will be cool, as I mentioned. We do have snowfall for the Cascades there, starting to see the snowfall for the Coast Range. There's late Sunday night, and then it kind of converges downtown uh, through the valley floor there. Not so, downtown, not so much downtown, but down to the valley floor, I should say. So all the communities there from Portland down to about Salem will start seeing uh, the rainfall, maybe a mix in the air, but that snowfall should stay up to about 1,000 feet, maybe creeping down to about 500 for some locations. All right, Futurecast keeps us plenty wet through our Monday. That's going to be the system that brings in some heavy rain. And then again through Tuesday, by the time we wrap it all up, it's possible we're over an inch of rainfall for areas in the Willamette Valley. 46 degrees on Monday, 46 on Tuesday. We'll keep it well below average. We should be closer to 60. We'll be in the 40s for the next five days. So this is cool. It's going to kind of feel a little bit more like winter for the next uh, five days, Wayne. All right. Thank you. Next on